one of the more disappointing losses. I thought early we had shots, shots, and shots, and we just didn't make shots. Our defense was okay. It wasn't great, but it sure wasn't bad. They shoot 40%. 25 from the three, they've been shooting the lights out, and you know, we just didn't uh, do the job. Uh, Valentine was worn out at the end, he gets some, some unadvised fouls, and uh, I'll take any question you got. Tom, uh, this is the poor free throw shooting cost you this game and a few other games. Is this something that can be corrected, or is that just something? That that the, the team has to live with for the year. I had a couple guys that aren't very good free throw shooters. I wasn't the guys that missed them. And uh, it's just unexcusable. Um, you know, everybody's got a job to do, as famous Bill Belichick says, and you got to do your job. So now I got to do my job. I don't think we've worked on them. No, we're not as bad as that, and our best shooters should go up to the line and be able to make a damn free throw. Next. Tom, what happened on the play with the Trice at the foul line? Where you got the shot? You know what? I, I really didn't see it. DJ did. I guess he just backed into him like three, four steps. I, I, I can't say I saw it. But it sure didn't matter because uh, maybe you know maybe we didn't want to win it. I mean, we just didn't step up there and miss two out of three free throws. Is uh, excuse me, I didn't see the play though. Tom, a guy who's going to give you a lift for a while there. Maybe we'll try to have some issues with Tom. Tom didn't play as much in the second half. What what do you see from him? Can he do well? Well, he's already died with Trice, and that's going to have to change. Um, you know, he had great shots, he just missed them. Um, I was really disappointed as I think you saw him really check somebody the last five, six minutes of the game. That's the way it's supposed to be all the time, so that's disappointing, you know. But, you know, him and Zell struggled. Well, there's nothing else I can say. They really struggled. I mean, Zell shot decent, but he really, you know, bad shots. And he struggled. So, uh, we're not going to win games with your two best players, two of your best three players struggling like that. They did a good job keeping Brandon off the boards, I thought. But uh, you just can't go to the line, guys, and miss free throws. It is demoralizing. And you miss two free throws. Miss front ends of the one and one. And you miss two free throws. And front ends of the one and one. Uh, and is it that bad? Not with the guys that were shooting. It's not. Costello's a good free throw shooter. Forbes is a very good free throw shooter. Valentine's a very good free throw shooter. And Trice is a very good free throw shooter. 80 some percent in his career up till this year. So um, I guess that's the way it works. Tom, if you can rewind to the, the first 10 minutes, you start on a 10 2 run, then they have a 9 1 run. Can you pinpoint what changed there? Missed shots, missed shots, missed shots. I mean, I give them credit. They, they, they made some tough shots. I, mean, I, I, thought, I thought we did a hell of a job on Hill. He made two tough shots. But Valentine got undisciplined, and we get in foul trouble, foul the jump shooter, had two ridiculous fouls, and he fouls him on that three. You can't do that. You just can't do those things. But I think in that run, it was more our lack of making shots. I mean, Trice had a bunch of shots, made great fakes, step in, and if you don't make shots, I mean, the other team is going to score some points. I mean, they shot 40%, 41%. 29 from the three. You can't ask more of your team defensively than that. We just, we just, uh, they would make any free throws and win the game. Yeah. Um, it looked like Travis took off that brace in the second half and had to come out at one point. How much did it help back here today? Who? Travis? I don't know. Ask him. I don't know. Tom, I, I kind of suggest this a couple weeks ago when you when you're relying on this team as a shoot jump shooting team. Not really. We went inside a lot at the end. I mean, I mean. Uh, we went inside to to BJ and he had that turnover. We went inside to uh, you know Shelly missed a couple of layups and uh, we went inside to uh, Costello. Uh, you know two of the three missed a very good shot. But go ahead. Well, I guess what I'm saying is that sometimes you know talking about the the good looks you're getting and just missing them is sometimes that's just 
kind of how it is with with a team like this. I mean, it's not. I don't think right. it should be like this. I mean, I you mean to tell me my best free throw shot? Not the free throw. It's the, the same free. thing. Um, yeah. I disagree with that. I I, I really do. I, I mean, if we're just jacking threes, uh, you know, maybe I'd agree with it. We took 20 threes. That's about what we take. Um, I think you know, Trice took a bad one at the end, and Zell might have taken a bad one. But I, I bet you 17 or 18 of those threes I would live with every day of the week. So. I'd have to disagree with that, but then again, I'm sure my opinion is going to be uh, questioned a lot this week, and rightfully so. Tommy, you, those last two shots you got, I imagine that's not what you wanted. Is that part of a team that's struggling with confidence, or is that what you want? Either confidence or, you know, is that is that what you want to You know, they were both bad shots. Yeah. I mean, uh, so it wasn't like they missed good shots. They were both bad shots, to be honest with you. We have time for two more, and Gross will be you said, you said the end of your opening statement, so now I have to go to work. But what does that entail for you in trying to get this? I mean, you know, we're just going to have to shoot free throws until people's hands are, have blisters on them. I mean, it's, 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 it's ridiculous. And we have addressed it, and we brought guys in. And, and uh, you know, sooner or later, you got to got to be able to step up and make a free throw, you know, and um, it's just hard to explain how energy zapping that is to go up there and miss two, and then come down, and then miss two, and then they come down and score, and then miss one and one, you know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous, and uh, I think the difference with tonight, okay, BJ missed one, but Matt Costello won for three, he's one of our better free throw shooters, uh, you know, grabbing. Brent is making free throws and put him up there, and we just just didn't do the job when we needed to do the job. This will be the last one, Mike. Yeah, Coach, you got about 20 years behind you. What is there anything you can draw from? I mean, clearly frustrated today, but what do you draw from when you go through a game like that and any similar situations you can recall with any of your past? No, I've never never seen a game where we did perform. Uh, offensively in, in uh, situations like that. I, I've been involved in some games, but this will be another one for the books. So uh, there's nothing good I can you know, take out of that. There's nothing I can compare it to. Um, to me, it's utterly unacceptable. And, uh, and I'll take full, complete responsibility for it. And, uh, you know, um, probably the, not the disappointed I've been, the maddest I've been. I, I, I just, I can't stomach that. I can't stomach what we went through today. And so I don't blame people for not being able to stomach it. But uh, we'll regroup. We have a lot of basketball left. Um, we did some things well enough to play against a good team. Um, it is a good team. Um, when I say all that stuff, uh, the Illinois writers should be ticked off. So let me preference this. Uh, I thought we did a hell of a job on Nunn because he has been unbelievable lately. He was over four from the three, shooting 45 percent. I, I thought we did a pretty good job on Kill. Uh, he's a hard guy to cover, and when Zell got his third foul, that made things really miserable. And uh, you know they got a good team. They bring both those guards in. I mean, Tate doesn't seem to do a lot except he runs their team with the utmost patience and gets in the paint and does the things and doesn't miss a free throw. He's a 96% free throw shooter, even though not a very good shooter. And uh, so I thought their guys uh, did their job. Um, they did what they had to do. And I know Igloo can shoot it, but he's 0 for 1 in the last game. He hits two out of three threes. And, um, that can happen. Uh, that's kind of ways that you don't win games, too, is uh, guys make some plays that don't. But they played very well. They played good defensively. I thought they played hard. Uh, they did a great job on the boards. I don't know, I don't know if we even won it and we won it by one, but they did a good job on the boards. They all played us. They all played us, and yet we still had chances to win it. We didn't win it, and uh, we'll just regroup. Thanks. Thanks, guys.